Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for a first look at something new from Explorer Cases and Fisher Blades. We'll start first with Fisher Blades. If only I had a knife to open this knife. Fortunately, I do. I actually talked with these guys, the designer of this. I say of this, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And pretty cool, kind of just different design elements that I was trying to accomplish with this. And, whoa, there we go. All right, oh, added some cool stuff in here too. Looks like I got a <laughs> sweet t-shirt. Stickers, serial number talking about the batch it was made in, and then signed, assembled by, sharpened by, final inspection by, all of that stuff right here. Came with a Band-Aid too, just in case. And they don't usually come in DACA pouches. I lucked out, mine came in a DACA pouch. Uh, this has their little manual in here too. Pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you the manual in a minute, but first I'll show you this blade. Right here, sweet Made in the USA sticker. And this knife is their Beckwith. Beckwith, I'm pretty sure. Could totally be pronouncing that wrong. If you know your military history, you will appreciate the meaning behind it. And so, pretty cool. Nice sheath, looks like adjustable retention right there. DCC clip, this is made to actually sit down in your pocket. And then this guy right here, bam. That's pretty cool, yeah, Beckwith Covert. Batch number 01, serial number 12 of 230. This is pretty cool. So I will, yeah. I'll show you kind of some of the design elements and talk through it a little bit, having talked to the designer and owner, or one of the owners. But yeah, pretty sweet little blade. Right here is the knife in the sheath. Again, DCC clip. Looks like you can adjust retention right there. And easy to the finger, draw this thing out. And the blade itself, a Tonto design. And you got this piece, keep your hand from running up. Pretty thin, I want to say about a half inch. Again, concealable. And yeah, pretty cool. This thumb ramp right here, being able to get a bunch of power or yeah, behind it. And yeah, overall pretty sweet little blade. I will, having just talked with the owner, I will kind of tell you about some of the design input on it. I should probably correct myself, design elements, not design input, but pretty cool. And it is made to pocket carry in front pocket, similar to maybe another blade. Here's the thing to keep in mind. I think there was probably some inspiration from the Northman, Northman X, stuff like that. But if you are making something for a specific task to do X, and you're out there seeking the truth, largely you're gonna wind up in a very similar place. What do I mean by that? Well, if you want something that you can easily draw out, one-handed, made for defensive use, concealable, yeah, you end up with something probably pretty similar. Just like, hey, I'm gonna make a PRS rifle. Oh, you know what? It's probably gonna look like every other PRS rifle on some certain fundamental levels. So, with that, we have this piece to where we can draw it out. Some different things that I thought were interesting, and part of it comes, I guess, comes from the application of this with respect to the person who designed it, and wanting something that is, ideally, can be used for powerful slashes as opposed to just stabbing. And so, when you get into slashes, like honestly, the dynamics of it, all of these different things, you can only do so much with smaller blades. And so that, in part, 
as I understand it, is a couple things. One, why we have this, so we can actually get more power versus if we were just holding it like that. And then the other part is blade geometry. Using this modified Tonto, as I understand it, you can actually slash a lot deeper than you otherwise would if there was just a belly to it or if it was just straight blade. So again, depending on application, things like that. But pretty cool. And this one right here is made for right-handed draw. So sits down in the pocket like that. And then with the pinky, boom, comes out and you have access to your blade. Pretty neat. Right here is the covert manual and inside gives you all the nomenclature, parts of the blade, how to carry it, how to hold it. Pretty cool. Proper way to draw it. And very nice. A little bit of targeting, always good as well as some maintenance and care. Pretty cool. Also something worth mentioning, this being a defensive blade, they do have a trainer for it. The trainer is actually just finishing getting developed. These are just getting launched. And yeah, they will have an actual trainer for it. I'll be getting that shortly so that I can actually do some training with this blade as designed. And yeah, looking forward to putting in time with it. Right here, I have something new from Explorer Cases. Ah, oh, very cool. Bam. It's a box. If you're unfamiliar, Explorer Cases, they're pretty cool. They make really awesome high quality cases. Actually, I wanna say they're out of Italy, over in Europe. And this one, made for travel pretty sure this latch oh, that's stiff there we go can basically wheel this thing around like a roller bag and biggest thing for me is being able to so cool. Being able to secure my camera, carry that around. And so this actually has these foam inserts. So while it's pretty vanilla inside, you can actually take these different inserts and build this out however you want to keep whatever things in here, in my case, camera equipment, nice and safe and keep it from getting wrecked. But then, something that's really cool. Oh, nice. I think this is actually a panel for it. I'll have to play with this in just a second. And then, yeah, a backpack. So right here we have this padded section and this rigid panel, which has all of this attached to it. And there's basically spots where with the hardware, you can go ahead and attach this panel on there if you wanna actually keep it on there. And then we have all of these dividers that we can set up kind of however we want to partition all of this stuff out all through the middle. And then something I'm actually pretty stoked on is this backpack portion. So this is actually really cool. It does, however, a tiny bit of assembly in that I'm essentially removing a couple of these screws and putting these straps on here and then in turn this harness both the top part as well as the bottom part you can see these hooks will end up basically going through the straps which then turns this whole thing into a actual braced padded backpack 
which is really cool because yeah the ability to carry this comfortably over distance especially weighted down with stuff that's huge I do a fair bit of traveling and I'm often out in the mountains filming. So this is gonna be amazing on both fronts. One, something really nice and secure to carry my camera equipment in, traveling. And then also, especially with that pack, being able to throw this on, not have to worry about any type of weather and comfortably carry quite a bit of stuff beyond just my camera gear in this nice and secure out of the weather elements, things like that. This is gonna be awesome. And definitely looking forward to putting in more time with this. The Beckwith Covert, pretty cool little knife. Especially looking forward to getting the trainer too. Granted, I have a lot of reps with a similar defensive blade. So fortunately, cross over there, but yeah. Ultimately, going to end up putting in more time with both these things and eventually give you guys a full review. There'll be links down below if you want to check out either of these things. And yeah, as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Well, I can tell you how it'll go down, but only you can tell me how to live.